And good morning, welcome back for video three of today. Uh, this is the calculator video and it should be pretty short. Uh, if you watched the video that was called an introduction to logarithms, you might remember that we got something like log base 5 of 27 uh, when we solved the equation 5 to the x equals 27. And I said at that time that log base 5 of 27 is just a number. Um, if you look at the equation, we'd expect that number would maybe be like a little bit more than 2, since 5 squared, 5 to the second would be 25. Um, that maybe our x is going to be a little bit more than 2, but the, we just didn't know how to get it. So get out your calculators uh, and follow along. If you've got a TI-84 plus, the silver kind, it doesn't have to be the silver kind, um, just a TI-84 plus, uh, then you should have the really convenient way to do this type of problem. So if you hit the alpha key, that green key, hit alpha, and then notice how above the little window button it says F2. That's the menu that we're going to look for. So hitting the alpha puts the little A up here, then hit the window key to hit uh, F2, and you're going to get this nice, nice menu. That first function is absolute value, there's some sigma notation, uh, 3 and 4 are calculus, and number 5 is the thing that we want. It's called the logarithm base function. So uh, you can hit up one time or hit the number 5 and you get over to the log base and hit enter. And in your home screen, it puts an e expression just like we put over here. And you really do just type in the numbers that we put, log base 5 of 27. Now we said this, we expected this to be a little bit more than 2. Let's see what we get. Uh, 2.04781853. Um, and one thing you'll notice about this number is it never, it's not repeating. Um, logs, exponents like this, uh, are not like repeating decimals. So the most exact way to give this answer is just to list log base 5 of 27. Um, but if you need a decimal, if it's a word problem and it's asking you, you know, how many bunnies are there, um, you should just round the decimal to a reasonable, rational um, number of decimal places based on the problem that you're doing. Now, Let's say that you uh, have an older calculator. The TI-83s, for example, don't have that nice little alpha menu. Um, the TI uh, calculators that aren't uh, graphing, that just have the two-line displays, also don't have that nice function, but all of those calculators can still do this. The thing that you need to be able to do this is to be able to put in an expression in a line and, and type in a whole expression and then hit enter to evaluate. So if your calculator can't do that, um, you do need to look into upgrading your calculator to really be able to do this. Um, but if we wanted to do this without using the special log base feature, uh, here's what you'd type in. Notice the log button. We talked about this before. This is the common log, log base 10. So that doesn't actually help us very much. But what you can type in is log of 27. That's the uh, number that's inside of you know, the expression that we had up here. And then divided by log of 5. And that's basically, there's some sneaky math going on behind this, but it's basically telling the calculator that the base of the log you wanted to take is not 10 secretly, but 5. Uh, and so if we hit enter here, oh my gosh, we get the same number. Um, so if you have uh, this type of calculator, the type of calculator that's not the TA84+, plus, I recommend that you practice this um, 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 times before you do it for the first time on a quiz or test. If you've got this TI-84+, plus, it's pretty explanatory what to do. But the other thing um, with the other calculators, you really do need to just to do a little bit of practice with it. And so um, I'm going to pause right now and let you do some practice. Um, and then we'll come back and do one more problem off of the word problem sheet. Um, welcome back. On the word problem sheet, uh, number one was about world population. And 1C asked how many years it would take for the population to triple. So if you watch this video, we said eventually that uh, it would take whatever number this is, log base 1.0126 of 3 years. Let's figure out how many years that is. So again, go up to our calculator. Uh, we'll get our screen out and clear out the old stuff. Uh, if you have the TI-84 Silver, you're going to hit Alpha Window and scroll over to Log Base. Now you're just going to type in 1.0126. Six, and then scroll over and type three. Now let's see how many years it would take to solve this problem. Uh, it says 87.73 years for the world population to triple at the growth rate that they were saying. And that's of course assuming a lot of things like that the population isn't going to 
change growth rates. People are not going to start having extra babies or less babies. Or so it's, it's a pretty simple, simplified you know story. But um, logarithms were an easy way to solve it. Uh, if we want to do this expression without the fancy feature, again you're going to do log of the big number on top, and then divide by log of the base number, one point zero one. And hit enter. And again, we get the same number. So however you choose to evaluate logs, um, whether you have the fancy feature or not, uh, you do get the same number. It's worth practicing, just like I said, a couple times. Um, be sure that you can do it um, as you do those word problems. Go ahead and get the numbers. I know I didn't in the video, but you should practice uh, getting the numbers as well. Oscar and I both hope that you have a really good rest of your weekend, um, and I will see you guys next week.